It's the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo. Just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. Thank <laughs> you. 
cute. I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rabble could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise on earth. Congress moved to nationalize my forest. I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds in the Arcadia. I did. <laughs> No. Ryan. I think I've 
got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... Oh, look who I'm talking to. Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look in the grotto. I've got to keep working while there's time. Sanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too.
Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocents. He said, innocents. If they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. <laughs> Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. <laughs> The Rosa Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in now. Now, I think I've got just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Isn't there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots. Witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting I've got little shrines with it, I joint hand, so those Sick turrets back. won't fight. Come on up to my office. Who says you can't teach an old hound new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs. And now, here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. Bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do.
steal you and I, did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. Ownership is civilization. Wait, no, please! Out in the Or a bunch of spliced up morons. I've cracked the vector. Or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of rose and gallery to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. Thank <laughs> you. 
mostly rural. If you're looking for something in particular, I start at the farmer's market. How can I help you if you won't come to me?
in violation will be relocated to Apollo Square. What makes something like me? I look at the jeans all day long, and never do I see the blueprints of me. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison camp, but kindred spirits. These children who are brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and natural. But in me is an abomination. My maternal instinct.
I walked today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, to Luca in a foul-smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. It was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off. I shout, get away from me. I can see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth. is thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face. Dirty clothes. That dead glow in her eye. I feel... Hatred. Like I never felt before. In my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. And suddenly I know... Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there, next to mine. Like a candle. You have saved the little ones when you might have shown your cruelty. 
I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No, their little fingers were right there next to mine. Dr. Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones. Would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? What will become a free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures.
Life down here. We were wrong.
one man not the most workable. All
Anderson, you are the proud papa of a brand new laser inspector. Now drop the vector into a gadget called Central Missing Control. Then we'll be cool for gas.
man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to die. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck.
Whatever. Time was. We could get something instant from the ring. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. seen a sign of real life down here in months. Let's see if you're just another Johnny come lately. Or maybe something more Come in! Come in! Santa Cohen awaits you at the Fleet Hall! Jamming the transmissions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes. The artist knows there is richer earth to till. For example, I test you, little maw. But for a reason. I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies. And some burn like a moth at the flame. Come now, into my home. Presto, presto! No, no! 
I'm trying. <laughs> Please. Once again, young Fitzpatrick. Oh god, you sick fuck, let me out of here! Come down now, little moth. Life. Death. The burden of the artist is to capture. See young Fitzpatrick here on the stage. Use your camera. Take him as he is now. So I may remember. And now you've got Fitzpatrick caught in his moment of glory. It seems you've got the eye of the shutterbug, little moth. Now, head to the atrium and place his photograph in my masterpiece. And so our collaboration commences. I know why you've come, little moth. You've your own canvas, one you'll paint with the blood of a man I once loved. Yes, I'll send you, Brian. But first, you must be part of my masterpiece. Go to the atrium. Hurry now. My muse is a fickle bitch with a very short attention span. Do you see it? When I am dust, this is what they'll point to. My quad tick. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch it. the moment of conception. Out in this place, there are three men, all former disciples of mine, all connected by a common thread. Betrayal. Find them, little moth, and immortalize their mortality in my quad tick. Go. Once they've been sent to their reward, you shall go to you. And the door to Poseidon's Plaza is now open to you. 